Leo, how are you doing? Welcome to your reading. This is a general reading for the month of June for Leo, wherever Leo's laying in your chart. So welcome to the video Leos, welcome to the video Crosswatchers. I'm Adrian Nelson and let's see what we've got in your reading. Okay, let's see what we have. So the way that I'm going to do this for you Leo is I'm going to draw for you. I want to focus more sort of like on channeling in this reading, so channeled messages. So I'm going to draw for you um, some cards from the Good Tarot, um, just for where you currently are, overall energy, how did you get there, what's coming towards you, and then, those are too many cards, we're going to end off by um, seeing which crystal energy you want to focus on, which angel is by you at the moment, which is staying by your side, and also, um, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three questions, and I'm going to draw you cards to answer those questions for you. So think of three questions that you may have, and we're going to answer that for you at the end of the reading. Okay, so let's see what we got for you. What we got for Leo's, please. Okay, first card up. Next one up. Oh, interesting. So, some of you may have gotten a little bit burned here. Um, but I also feel that you're in the space where you're getting the lesson, which is actually fantastic. Because when we get the lesson, you know, it's, it's, it's cool when we get the lesson, because if we don't get the lesson, we somehow need to have the experience again. Okay, so your overall energy is the Queen of Water, which is the Queen of Cups, okay? This is a space of um, learning how to be better in the world, you know, in a sense of learning how to flow with the world in an easier way, um, Leo, learning how to um, not be overwhelmed by some of the things that the world, you know, sort of presents to us or kind of bombards us with sometimes. I feel this is a space for you where, um, and this is coming from inside, so people might see that there's a change that's busy taking place around you, like you are changing, people will be noticing that. But what it is, I feel that you spent a significant amount of time on inner work, on inside work, focusing on the inside. And so what's basically happening is that that is sort of starting to kind of manifest to the outside for you. It's actually really, really beautiful because this is... Um, I can't exactly, I can't um, translate it exactly because it's in Afrikaans that I know it, which is the native language that I speak, but it basically comes down to, um, you know, what the heart is filled with, it sort of like flows across your lips. And um, the, what it basically refers to is that as your inner world change, your outer world starts to change and the um, relations that you have with others change as a result as well. In the recent past, we've got number 15 there, temptation. And then in your current energy, we've got the nine of fire, which is the nine of wands. And then in the energy that's coming towards you, what a perfect energy this is for an energy coming towards you, the chariot. This is a space of winning. <laughs> Okay, this is a space of um, moving forward. This is a space of getting balance, Leo. It's a space of getting harmony. Um, it's a space of getting flow. So that is literally what's coming towards you. Okay, now, so let's look at this Queen of um, Water, this Queen of Cups, which is your overall energy. Let's see what we have there for you. Because I feel for many of you, it's almost like for some reason I see the vision in my mind. It looks almost like a woodmill. Uh, not a like sorry, not a woodmill, like yeah, the thing with the with the with the windmill, the round thing, and there's like almost like a white building. And it's it's almost like looking it from the side. So maybe that's just significant for some of you. But it could also be a lighthouse. It's 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 almost like it's unclear. Okay. Um, cards that we have for you is the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Five of Wands. This is quite an interesting space, Leo, because this is a space where you might not sure which direction to head next. I, it, I almost feel that for some of you, you, pull, you feel like you're pulled in different directions, um, and almost like um, sort of like lots of important things kind of bent on your decisions but interestingly enough I almost feel like these things don't feel that important to you um, even though it's almost like the importance of it is shoved onto you like you have to take this seriously you have to make a decision you have to choose almost like a, like which side of the fence that you you know you're going to maintain on um, but there's an opportunity here for you Leo there's an opportunity here for you to 
um, to to sort of sorry about checking the camera. There's an opportunity here for you to turn a situation around. You know, whatever it might be that's happening over here, maybe any sort of um, um, sort of conflict, um, anything like that. There is an opportunity here to change things around. Um, there's an and it opens a door. For, for abundance to flow through. So if maybe some of you are feeling at a point where you don't really know what to do at the moment, you don't know how to approach a situation at the moment, um, I feel that there's a lot of, there's a lot of sort of um, inner thoughts, exhausting inner thoughts there with the five of wands that is burning up your energy. Okay, so if you are looking for a solution, how to maybe be able to go better with things, how to um, sort of better manage your time, how to have more time available, how to be able to think clearer, how to maybe not be so tired, not be so overwhelmed, not be so exhausted, you know. Um, there's this inner conflict happening inside of you and it's not really serving you well. Let's draw a card for that. Just want to get some clarification on that inner that you are having, that one flipped around, Nine of Cups. So this is a space, Leo, where um, you know those dreams that you have in your heart and those hopes that you have and those um, sort of desires in your heart that you'd like to have come true. At the other end of conflict, all of that actually starts becoming possible. And I feel that you're getting that. I feel that you're pretty much getting that. So that's actually really, really amazing over there. All right. Let's look at your recent past, the energy that brought you towards, um, you know, where you currently are. Let's see what part the past has played. What role did it play for Leo, please? Okay. Three cards came out, they all came out in reverse, and they are, let me just see quickly, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor, all in reverse, all in the defense position. So, I feel that you were sort of like out of alignment there with yourself in the recent past. It's, uh, this is when you're almost like a bit of a strange, like, like quite a strange actually in your own life. Um, I don't feel that whatever your family life resonates for you, Leo, um, I feel that it, it, it was a space that you couldn't get it over there. It was out of alignment. It wasn't working. It was just, um, uh, it's almost like for many of you, you know, you've tried something, you, you've tried certain things, you've, you've given other people sort of like the benefit of the doubt, um, you know, you gave it some space and whatever, but... Um, I just feel there was a space where your world just felt very turned upside down and you felt like you had no power and it, this was affecting your personal life, your personal relations, your home life, your family life, your personal energy um, and I feel that for many of you, you whatever happened over here, you started to feel very despondent. In some ways it could be that you started to doubt yourself, maybe you don't feel like going to work, um, didn't feel like doing anything, you were just in that very blare sort of space. Okay, and also um, I, I normally say this in the beginning of the reading, but I forgot now. Is um, obviously it depends on you know whether you Leo Sun or whatever Leo is in your energy. Then um, this this is your reading. If you're obviously on the cusp, look at both readings so you get a better understanding. Um, and if you don't know where your placements are, there's a link in the description that says free natal chart. You can actually get it over there. Okay, all right. So let's see. What is it that we have for this current energy for Leo, please, for June 2021? So, it's, again, three cards are coming out in the upright position this time. Fantastic. So you've got the Seven of Swords, you've got the Devil, and you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? So this is a space, Leo, where I also want to point out for you that coming out in the end there, that the Nine of Pentacles is clarifying the Nine of Wands over there. So the inner healing that you're doing over here, the inner emotional healing that you're doing here, like sort of, you know, mending the inner garden, the inner territories and setting up those barriers and sort of reassessing things, I feel the inner work that you do, the inner magic that you're starting to discover about yourself and aligning with, it's actually also unfolding into your outer world. So for those of you that are maybe worrying, how do you go to the next level? How do you get to a difficult period how do you go to the next step how do you get through financial abundance you know or, or, or sort of how do you make ends meet that sort of thing as you clean out the inner debris 
it's starting to shine out on the outer side. It's almost like, um, you know, when a window's dirty, but it's dirty on the inside. No matter how many times you wash it on the outside, it's not going to make a difference. But when you start tending to it on the inside, that is when you can start seeing the beauty and it's, it shines through on the outside. It's like a display window. In order for the outside world to see the beauty, the display window needs to be clean. You can always see in the stores, you know, they always clean those windows so beautifully that you almost like, you know, it's, it's almost like if you touch it, you'll touch right through it. And there is a beauty that is happening with you at the moment. I feel your inner confidence is growing. There are ways in which some of you are holding yourself back. There's some um, petty fights and things that you're holding on to. Yes, they hurt me. No, they did that. They didn't honor me. They did that. Those, those things are holding you back. Those things are holding you back. There are certain fights that you stop, that you let go, that you release. And it's almost like if for some reason you're getting all fired up about them again. And you want to be like, ah, but I want to, no, 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 no. That, that is not going to help you. That is not going to help you. Okay. I want to draw you one more card. Okay, those are three cards. It's fine. I'll take them. Um, for your current energy, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, all in reverse. Okay, so there's a beautiful divine intervention that's available here for you, Leo. Did you know that? There's a beautiful blessing that's available here for you. Were you aware of that? Right? Um, there's there's something really amazing available here for you, and um, by for some of you refusing to do the inner work, by for some of you wanting to be committed to your own sort of opinion, being stubborn about things, you're actually withholding yourself from something fantastic. Um, Really, really beautiful. Lots of reason to celebrate. You almost like withholding yourself from some of the magic here for some of you, for those of you that refuse to sort of let go of the fight, that want to be right, that want to get justice, that want to get even, that want to get the apology. Mm -mm. You're holding yourself. You withhold, you're basically withholding yourself from a miracle. Okay. Release that miracle. It's available for you. There's a miracle that's available here for you. Um, there's are too many cards. Let's see the energy coming towards you with the chariot. What is the prospective energy that's that's heading your way, Leo? So there's a big opportunity here for you. Very, very big opportunity. Opportunity for great success. Okay. Opportunity for amazing success. For amazing abundance. For quite beautiful ease in life. You've got the Ten of Pentacles. You've got the Four of Wands. And you've got the Temperance card. This is really a beautiful, beautiful energy that is available here for you, Leo, um, as we said, the energy of success. Um, Ten of Pentacles, so um, there's an opportunity for you. So if you make the changes that is that you are guided to do in the reading, you know, if you can do that forgiveness, that letting go, not holding on, not being that stubborn, can be fantastic financial portals opening for you. A marriage, long, um, you know, lifetime commitments, high-level commitments available. And there's a lot of freedom that I feel that, that's available for you, a lot of freedom and space for you to move and maneuver and sort of do what it is, you know, that you'd like to do, that sort of thing, okay? Let's see what we have for you in um, Angel Energy, Leo. What Angel Energy can, is, is supporting you at the moment? What angel energy can you open your heart to is here to assist you right now. That's what we're looking at for you. And you know, if you maybe feel like this reading will benefit maybe somebody else, a friend, you know, send the message to the inbox or put it on your wall or whatever resonates with you, you know. Um, let me know where we're connecting from. Angel of success. Aries got the same card. Angel of success. That's beautiful. Um, this is a space, Leo, where maybe you're dealing with an Aries, or maybe you've got Aries in your chart, or maybe somebody close to you is Aries. So maybe look at that reading and see, you know, why that might resonate for you. Because also Aries had this card, the Temptation card, just on a different position than yours was. But this is a space of, I feel, blessings flowing your way. I'm going to draw you another one. Also, this card, this Angel of Success card is number 31. And 3 plus 1 equals 4, which is all about stability. Okay. Let's see what we have for you. Angel of the Night Sky. So if you maybe have difficulty sleeping or you just wake up in the middle of the night or before you go sleep, you know, just speak to the angels. You know what, I'm going to go sleep now. Beautiful angels of the night skies, you know, thank you for the way that you express love and, and support and everything to me as a soul having a human being experience, being part of you all, you know, because we're part of everything and everything is part of us. Um, just say, you know what, 
please, you know, if, if you maybe got concerns during the night time, either as you sleep, as you're at your home, maybe you've got a business, maybe your car's parked outside, you don't have indoor parking, something like that, you know, maybe you work in the night shift or late hours, just say, angels, please be with me. And also bear in mind that even though it's night on your side of the world, if that's a concern for you, on the other side of the world, it's daytime. So you can also say, I call in the security of the daytime that I sometimes feel more than the nighttime on the other side of the world, because again, we are all connected, okay? All right, Leo. You can always call in that positive energy. Let's see what um, crystal energy you will benefit from focusing on. Crystal energy for Leo, please. Crystal energy for Leo. Crystal energy for Leo for June. There we go. Flipped around Tanzanite. Beautiful. Getting some clarity. There was a time when everybody's saying that Tanzanite is going extinct. I was like, mm, I don't think so. Tanzanite is um, diamond from diamond, sorry, from Tanzania in Africa. Um, and then not too long ago, two huge Tanzanites were discovered, and I get a feeling that there will be more. Okay. All right. So, remember I said you can ask three questions at the end of the reading. So, Leo, three questions. I'm going to give you a moment to decide. Three questions that you just formulate in your mind um, that you'd like to have some universal clarity on. Okay? And if it resonates, I'd really, I'd really love to see you write me a comment about it to see how it might resonate. It's always interesting, you know, because we're all one, we're all connected. I always say to my person, and my sort of like if you have like a private reading with me, I always say, and I actually say to you as well, don't just take everything I say to you verbatim. You've got a higher knowledge within yourself. Ask yourself, does this resonate with me? Okay. My readings were a little bit late this week. Energy had me a little. <laughs> so, if any of you waited, I do apologize. But what you can also do, you know, if you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell, then you get notified when the readings are coming out. Okay, so you can do that. All right, so question number one. It says that there's something better. Okay, so um, sometimes in life it feels like, oh, we're not getting what we'd like to get, you know. Um, but sometimes what we have now, it's also, or what we can see and perceive now, it's just a lesson or it's an encouragement for us to sort of dream bigger, to aim higher. Okay, question number two, that's a very big no there for you. And what I know for sure is when life is your big no, it also has a very big yes for you. And for your final card, Leo, what a beautiful confirmation there with my favorite symbol in the hands there, an unk. It says that you are ready. You are ready. All right. Remember that we said there's an opportunity for great success here for you, Leo. And I can definitely see that in your reading. Um, so it will be very interesting to see how what this unfolds. And we'll see what happens in your reading next week. Because I think this is going to be a very interesting pattern for you. All right. So I hope that helps. I'll see you next time.